Right, well I've got a great recipe for you guys today. It's all gluten free and it's a French onion tart. And we're, we're even gonna make our own gluten free uh, flour to make a cream cheese pastry, which I'm gonna show you how to do now. So the uh, gluten free flour, rice flour, tapioca starch and corn flour and a little bit of xanthan gum. So that's the flour. So we're gonna pop that in a blender, just a little bit of salt and some gluten free baking powder. And then we've got some butter, which is just cold and cubed. And then we're gonna pop that in there. And we're gonna put the cream cheese in as well, sorry, at this point. Try not to spill it everywhere. And then we're gonna blend it and we wanna get uh, breadcrumbs. So you just wanna keep doing it. Keep sort of stopping and having a look and you can sort of see now it's sort of getting a little bit uh, into the breadcrumb stage, but you still got some nice big chunks, so just a little bit more. It's important not to overwork it though. So just have another quick look, so it's sort of starting to get there. I'm gonna give that another sort of 20 seconds, and then gonna add an egg and a little bit of water to bring it together. So pop an egg in, just a little spoon of cold water, and there you go. So that is our pastry. <laughs> Are you right over there? Yeah. Do you need, Guys, you need like me in the kitchen? Back in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Right, so that's our pastry. So you just lightly knead it together, bring it all into one sort of ball, wrap it in cling film, chill it for about 30 minutes, and then we're going to roll it out and line a pastry tin. Whilst you're waiting for the pastry to go down, we're just going to slice the onions with a little bit of thyme and just slowly cook them in a little bit of olive oil and butter. And we just want to cook them for about 15, 20 minutes and lightly caramelise them. So I'll come back a little bit later, and then we'll finish off the mix and build the tart. Let's check in and see what's happening with the tart in the kitchen. Oh, gosh. Um, well, it's not my tart, it's actually Mark's tart. Uh, actually, it's not even Mark's tart no. this time around, is it? No, it's uh, Sally Holland's tart from a new book, Goodbye Gluten. She was a guest on the show uh, last, last week. Yeah, fantastic cookbook, by the way. Um, so you've been inspired because it's Celiac Awareness Week, and so you've stolen the recipe, and we're about to get borrowed. going with our tart. You've borrowed the recipe. Yeah, so we made the pastry, we blind baked it. Mm -hmm. So basically, blind baking is just putting some greaseproof um, paper in your tart tin and filling it with some beans or coffee beans or rice, anything that's not going to burn, and it just basically holds the pastry in shape as it's setting. Ah, uh, getcha. Okay, cool. Good tip. Now, you've got the caramelised onions going on there. Put a bit of smoky bacon in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So just been sort of slow cooked, so we've just got a nice caramelisation on there. They're nice and soft, full of flavour, a little bit of butter in there and thyme. And the smoked bacon as well, so lots mm. of flavours in there. Yeah, it smells so good. And really simple as well, and easy. Okay, cool. Right, so all we need to do now is we're actually going to make the mix. So it's a little bit like a quiche. So we've got some milk and cream in here. We've got some eggs, whole eggs. And we're just going to whisk it all together. And here's a tip for you. If you ever get any shell in your egg, <laughs> so you've got some shell there. So I did this on yes. purpose. Yeah, right? good man. Yeah. Take, take half your egg and you just go near it and it just comes out straight away. If you try and do it with your finger, it's, it's near impossible. Oh, it takes forever, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. I usually just leave it in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Texture. Yeah, <laughs> bit of crunch. OK, so we've got the eggs going. Yeah. We're gonna whip nice. So, but what'd you say, like making a quiche? Oh, a little bit, yeah. yeah. So it's, just, it's basically we've got an egg, egg and cream mix and a cheese mix, and that's just going to settle in the uh, oven as we cook it. Let's work. And we'll, you know, be flavoured with uh, smoked bacon and onions. So really simple. Just a little bit of seasoning in there, and then we're ready to build. Nice. So this yeah, is this is good to go now. Okay, good. I'll keep. Do you want me to whisk that for you? Do something. Did you have a good weekend, by the way? What did you get up to? Brilliant. I had a fantastic weekend. Yeah. Uh, three year old birthday party. Oh, nice. Happy birthday, Charlotte. Oh, happy oh. birthday, Charlotte. <laughs> Hopefully I get to come next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, look, I'm so helpful. Look at me. <laughs> That's brilliant. It's really, it's a really important part of the recipe yep, is, is getting it nice and stirred. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to make you feel better in the kitchen. Thanks, Matt. Right, so we've got the onions, bacon in here. So just do a nice layer of the onions and bacon. Then we're going to put some uh, grated cheese. So this is Gruyere cheese. So nice bit of flavour from there. A little bit of acidity. So just sprinkle that over. Nice and evenly, and then we can pour the cream mixture mm -hmm. on top. So just be careful that you don't fill it too much, so it goes down the side of the pan and it all sticks to the thing. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust you. You're gonna trust me. Yeah, I'm okay, gonna trust cool. you. And nice and evenly. Okay, cool. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's, it's looking great already. Is it? And then we're just gonna bake this in a hot oven to about 100, 180 degrees for about sort of 20, 25 minutes. We want to keep checking it, and basically when it's ready. 
you just want to be able to sort of wobble it. The eggs are going to set. It's still going to be nice and creamy, and it's just going to be full of flavour. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Did I do a good job? You did a great job, actually. Yes. Okay, and then cool. once this comes out, we're going to let it cool down for about sort of 10 minutes or so. Then we can demold it, and then we can just trim the top of the pastry to the top level of the tart, and then you get a nice, perfect tart. Top tip for you. Nice work. Okay, so it's all going here in the Mastercraft kitchen. If you need any of the recipes, just go to thecafe.co.nz. Uh, I think we'll put this in the oven, get it cooking, come back very soon. And Mel, over to you. We are cooked. It's just come out of the oven, so it's nice and warm. Um, so a little trick for you to just uh, unmold the tart. So if any uh, of the mix has gone through and it sort of leaked onto the tart, it sort of sticks. But you can just use a knife and just pry it out. And here's a tip for you, get a bowl. So obviously you need to have a, a loose bottom tart tin and then put it up, loosen the tart, and then it just comes off. <laughs> so there you go. You can get well done. That. Oh, that could have gone wrong. <laughs> I love that and line, then... loose bottom tart tin. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can just cut a nice wedge and serve it. Ideally, you know, give it 20 minutes, let it cool down a little bit, it'll just set, it'll be a lot easier to serve. I'm going to bring this over. Oh, nice. You Tell you what, audience, we are in for a treat. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Nice. Yeah.